You have told us just how much you value the support of friends and family. But for much of this year, we've been separated from the people that so many of us rely on. Parental loneliness has increased from 38% before the pandemic to 63% during it. And sadly, there's also been a rise in the number of people who are uncomfortable seeking help. Do you see a significant shift in people identifying as lonely? So either all the time, some of the time, or a little of the time. But ultimately, this is quite a substantive increase irrespective of the methodology shift. So one was face-to-face, -face, one was online. You know, you, you maybe account for a seven point difference. If you're doing a shift in mode, this is quite a tremendous difference and uh, less deprived to so the, the most first the least deprived areas. Uh, and for the other statistics, some of those we see around financial difficulties being the key metric that differentiates people's experiences. Um, so there's plenty of living on board for people who have an interest in those uh, post offices, etc. There's a list of places where people will be indoors in social settings where they're surrounded by other men on identifying that great development is really happening in those first two years. You know, men are less likely to identify that in the first two years than women. Can you imagine what it's like for a man in the pregnancy stage then? Is that the extent to which they identify? 98% of you said that nurture is essential to lifelong outcomes. But just one in four actually recognise the specific importance of the first five years of a child's life. Earlier this year, we asked you five big questions about raising our under fives. We wanted to hear what you think about the importance of the earliest years of our children's lives. More than half a million of you answered that call. So we've taken your input and combined it with even more public research to produce the UK's biggest ever study on the early years. This year has been a hugely challenging time for us all, and there hasn't been a more important moment to talk about families. Later on this week, we'll share five big insights that we've discovered, and I will take your questions. This is just the beginning, and I want to thank you for starting a conversation, because we're all on this journey together.